Hello. Guess who's back from the break? I mean, it's not a break. I've just been uh, really busy with icons this week. And yesterday I took a day off, so I didn't really post anything. But yeah, gotta get back to the schedule. I'll post during icons, even if like, not a lot of people will watch. Since, you know, everyone is hyped for icons. Ooh, group stage. Europe is already out, only thing quest is left, yikes. I mean, I'm always on the cost stream into Darkbreaker for icons because I don't have permission myself, so I have to leech on Darkbreaker instead. Unlucky. But yeah, posting a crit Rengar today. As I said before, I think Rengar is still strong. I do think Bruiser Rengar is better with Sunder Black Beaver. It was, I even predicted it, it was gonna be played at icons. The Brazilian, I mean, I don't know if it was Brazilian or Latam, I don't remember. But from, us on, from South America picked it, and he did great with it. So yeah, but Crit Rengar more for solo queue, really ranked oriented. This is the build that I prefer, I mean... In this video I'll go Duskblade first, but Duskblade is not that good, because uh, it doesn't stack with Storm Razor and the Passive. I mean, you can still go if you want the... The only reason I buy Duskblade sometimes over Yomus is because of the Ward Passive. You can tell if it's warded or not, and it's really helpful most of the times. But yeah, Yomus is just objectively better. Unless you have some autism like me and want to go Duskblade uh, Storm Razor, just go Yomu instead. Then IE Classic, you hate in every crit build. BT, some people like to play Navorion Rengar. I mean, sure, if you like it, go for it. I think Solar is not that great. It's better to just buy raw AD crit items like BT. Because the 50 AD compared to... 30 attack speed and 15 haste is like whatever, no one cares about it too much. Your goal is to one shot not DPS with uh, charge blade. You can also go like Desnes here if you need it, you can go Mortal. Depends on the game and usually J last item. I don't think Triforce is good anymore, I mean, it's alright, but if you go full crit Rengar, it's better to just get your crit early instead. It's not Lethality Rengar, it's crit Rengar. But yeah, pretty quick. Runes Conquer always on crit Rengar. Actually, you you could go Electrocute to be fair, but I haven't really tried it lately. It could work for your one shot, but I think I don't know. Then uh, brutal trial or triumph depends on you. Brutal from early game triumph if you want to sustain. It works really great on Rengar with your second ability. And then oh my god, I'm getting spammed with invites. Then uh, Titan if they at least they have CC. Carapace if uh, you need some early game, you can go Adaptive, it's pretty good, or you can go Nullifying Orm. Actually, I, I've been trying Bone Plating too, but I'm not sure on it yet, so I'm not gonna say anything. But yeah, Nullifying Orb can work great on this build because you buy a lot of AD, so it scales pretty well. And Inspiration, uh, I actually play Demolish now, I'm trying it in Ranked a bit because as I said in previous videos, maybe, I don't remember if I actually mentioned it, but... We use Demolish a lot and Screams because it's really helpful for getting first tower and snowballing around 4 minutes. In ranked it's a bit difficult, but I think it can work out. So that's why still testing. Otherwise you can go Pathfinder. Mastermind is decent on Rengar, but you don't really need it to be fair. And Nimbus Cloak is kinda meh on him too. So yeah, Pathfinder most of the times. That's it for the build. Now for the gameplay, I started a bit late, but it's alright. Starting red, the control ward that is blue, obviously. We're playing against Kha'Zix, Galaxy. This guy is like, I don't know, top 5 on you now or something? But yeah, Rengar into Kha'Zix, uh, Rengar our favorite matchup, as everyone should know. It's pretty difficult for Kha'Zix to play, especially early game, since Rengar is just stronger. Kha'Zix does uh, outscale. I'm just gonna do a full red clear. We have a Kale top, amazing, very useful champion, love to see it in my team. So we might have to pat top just to defend him for from the dives. Don't remember if the cow was duo with the Reaver, but that matters a lot if you know who's doing the enemy team because they usually just play around themselves. And you can counter that. Yeah, Echo is getting some good trades on TF in mid actually. So we can look for mid lane action as well. Bot lane should be winning. We can't really. Okay, Kha'Zix is in mid lane already. I failed here, I didn't jump on the minion, but it's fine. We'll manage to clean up both of them. If I didn't fail, I don't think I had to flash here, but it's fine. They trolled pretty hard, the Kai and the TF. I have to be careful of Riven here. I'm pretty sure she can 100 to 0 me. Especially since I have no flash. Riven is really broken, guys. It's bullshit. 
you just stay 10 screens away from this champion or you just die. But yeah, the Kha'Zix trolled the level 2 gank, he greeted for the echo and got punished. I got 2 free kills, what can I say? Even if they didn't dive under tower, I'll probably gank here easily. Yeah, we'll just rush level 5 here. We can either full clear blue and base on uh, on Yomus or Dust Blade. I, I think I went Dust Blade this game. Or just uh, look for something top. But it's hard because it's scaled. Like, we have no setup for here. All we can do is counter the gank, or if Riven greeds and stays like really low HP, she usually she doesn't. I get my stacks here. I'm looking for the TF. I know he has no flash, and it's most likely not worded on the uh, on left side yet. I go in on the TF, I loot him. My echo is kinda slow on the response, but thankfully he gets him. And I die from the minions! Amazing. I mean, the, the echo didn't trust me to follow or something, I don't know why he was so far back. It was a free kill on TF, but it's fine. I get my dust blade. Pretty huge. Nice pickup at 251. I'll just full clear outside again and see what's going on. The Kha'Zix is Omega behind, 1.7. TF is ult in mid. I think our Echo would die here. Yeah. Unlucky. We see the bot lanes under tower, they are somewhat low. We could try to dive this. TF has no ultimate and we know Kha'Zix is on top side. As he just finished his blue, blue side when he showed up mid. I decide to not go for it. If I really want to YOLO I would have tried, but it's a bit risky, we don't know what sums they have, they can't think anything. We see Kha'Zix is top, so I decided to just go for it this time. Especially uh, for minutes is coming, I dodged the plant vision, I'm going from the from the river. Not going from the river, I'm going from the lane. I mean. It's a really good timing to go for the tower. We see their bot lane base probably, and Lulu is still here, but we can't really get on her, she'll just run away. Yeah, since it's 4 minutes, we can easily take this tower. We just wait for the 4 minutes, the shield pops down, we pop the first ability, and we just one shot it. The Vayne didn't condemn here, me here, maybe I would have died if she did, but it's alright. I get the root on the TF, I just back off. And that's uh, some pretty easy pickups actually. We knew Lulu was low, there was no way she can come here and Kha'Zix show top side earlier, it's really obvious. Really easy to get first tower. I didn't even have Demolish here I think, I don't remember what I had this game. Yeah, going Storm is your second. As I said in the intro, usually you want to go Yomus, not Dustblade. Oh, I have Vent Fighter, just so now, okay. Usually you want to go Yomus, not Dustblade. I only go Dustblade for the, for the passive on the wards, literally the only reason. Because your passive, your passive goes off if it's worded or if someone is in a bush and that helps you way too many times. Really broken to be fair. But yeah. Here I use third ability on the Gromp. As long as I have burn damage on the Gromp, I will uh, keep my stacks. So your stacks can last a really long time if you've used this. Not a lot of people know it. You can just throw your E on the Gromp and you will have stacks, uh, stacks until the Gromp resets. It's like 10 seconds or something, it's crazy. It's really good for ganks in general. Here we want to contest the Drake. I use empowered second ability for movement speed. We're trying to run, run for it. I'll try to 50-50 with the car. I don't smite in time, unfortunately. I just have to flash out. Arco is going in though. Ah, I missed the root. Maybe we'll get car. So it's alright. We got the Herald, we tried to flip the Drake. We failed it this time. We could look for mid lane here. I'm kinda late on macro. It was a free mid tower. I'm looking for the TF, I jump on the minion, I sidestep, so I keep the root on him. He should be dead with this, yep. Now we can go for the mid tower. I don't even have to herald, the guy is low, I root him as well. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he just dies. Like 5 EU, I guess. More LP than me, sad. Even up on the tier 2, the camera is going to Ganta. I thought it's a bug, but I'm pretty sure I'm just misclicking it on top every time. <laughs> it's crazy. It happened so many times, I thought there's something wrong with the game, but it's actually just me being fucking stupid. Mariko overstays for no reason, whatever, we just let him die. Don't care. Going IE. I have mercs, because obviously they have TF. 
He's really annoying. I don't always have my empowered second ability, so I can't always dodge his uh, gold card. Having some tenacity helps. Arkale is roaming, finally. You see, she's part of the game. They're diving pretty deep here, we can look to turn. If possible. Arkale is running. I'm looking for something, I do get exhausted. Really nice uh, second skill by me. Get out of the cold card. We can look to chase down here. Riven got Lulu, she just runs out. And yeah, we don't get anything out of this. Unfortunately. I'll just go check his blue side probably to see. Uh, okay, never mind. Alright, boy is going in. I'll chase down the vein. I go for the plant, I jump over. I see Lulu is here. <laughs> Random. Oh. <laughs> A wild Lulu appeared. But yeah, two freebies again. Orkale popping off. The Caitlyn killed the Kha'Zix as well somehow. Cool, cool. Can't get your tree here probably. My team, I mean. I'm just taking his camps, I don't give a fuck. See, it's 8 minutes and his pink ward is still in blue buff. I'm pretty sure that's the pink he placed at the uh, minute 1, same as me. Like, this, this ward is so broken. So, so bro. You literally have it the whole game. There's a lot of good pink ward spots. There's one in Krogs also. There's one in your red buff. Got plenty of options. But yeah, we base. Here I was going BT or do I still? No, I'm going IE still. It's 8 minutes. <laughs> XD. But then breach. Echo gets caught again. Unlucky. Happens, bro. Happens. We do jig out scale them even though they have like. Vayne Lulu, our KL should be able to deal with them late game. Same with our Echo, our Echo should be huge soon. And I'm crit Rengar so I can one shot Vayne no problem. If I catch her off guard. But yeah, there's nothing to do, we just clear our waves, we see TF uh, Ka going bot, our KL should be fine. Just farm it up. There's a, herald, there's a herald in 20 here I ulted, just seeing if anyone grids around bot side. There's no one up here. You can maybe look on mid lane for a pick. We see the vein is AFK in the bush. She's trolling her pathing, we go in. She gets instantly one-shotted. I could have played slightly better actually, I should have rooted, but it's fine. We still get her. Yeah, we'll just go for the free herald. There's not much the enemy team can do right now to contest us. I'm super strong. Get the Herald. The Kha'Zix, you won't make it in time to collapse him, he can just run away. I'm still going just to take his drugs. <laughs> My team is going deep. Okay, they get the Lulu though. Crazy. I'm taking my stacks. Looking for a root on someone. It's not really that simple. Try to run out the Riven, but she just dashes out. Get condemned. Yeah, we should just play Drake in 20 seconds. I will pop the Herald here probably to open me. Or do we not even need it? No, we don't need it actually. Just walk off. You're in base. Gotta run away from the broken champion. Here if I turn I'm instantly dead, I have to be really careful, like I can't help him. With Drake being up soon, like there's no point for me to die together with the Kale. CTF is stop. <sighs> I'm using the plan for vision on Drake. Get the ward real quick. I lock on the Drake, we get the Drake, I flash out the condemn, really well played. Plant is pretty broken. Might be. What can I say? Beko is getting caught yet again. Unfortunate. Sika is pushing bot. I'm not gonna let him get a free tower. He doesn't deserve to get any gold. He flashed here. I could try to chase, but I decided it's not worth it. He will have third ability back soon, probably. Even if I empowered second ability and root him, probably don't catch him. I'll just push him base. I have IE. We're pretty huge. In this game I decided to go Destance from what I remember after Zonia. 
yeah, I'm going distance. Because they have uh, pretty fat rebound and Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix gets Omega countered by uh, distance. His damage is really low, even if you are like full crit Rengar. You won't kill his worst as much. Because as I said, in late game Kha'Zix can uh, kill Rengar pretty easily. If you jump on him with your ultimate, he will just tilt after and fight you out. If you don't manage to one-shot him with your initial combo. Yeah, we would again looking for a pick. Kiev and Lane are on mid lane. We go from the right side, that's where they are patting. We just go straight on the lane and she gets one shot. <laughs> XD. Really fun to play against. But yeah, with Rengar you always want to... I mean, you need to kind of anticipate where people will go when you ult. But you can get some really free kills, especially in lower ranks. Because they just don't expect it. They don't know you have vision on them. You can catch people on rotations and stuff all the time. Yeah, our team is kind of greeting it on bot lane. But Caitlyn gets caught. I'm looking for a flank on this fight, but it's looking really bad. I will just back off. Our Kale might be able to open tier 3 here though. <laughs> Kale has Bloodthirster for really nice uh, build. Full AD crit Kale. Maybe that's the only way this champion is useful, I don't know, I'm clueless. Yeah, we base. Now the enemy team will go for a desperate play here. They will try to rush Nash, our Echo, Caitlyn, Sorakar, 10 seconds. It's like the only way they get back in the game, if they get this Nash. Literally the only play they have, so they decide to go for it. And we'll just wait, our kill is giving us vision. This is Nash HP, it's dropping low. I just woke up first to build this fight. It's only the Riven combo, I'm chilling. The Vayne is going melee range, we just kill her. And that's a GG flashover, but Kha'Zix is not here anymore. Yeah, as I said, it was the only play the enemy team had. If they don't get this Nash, they'll just lose uh, the game slowly. Since they're outscaled. Yeah, that's it for the game. Should be able to end here easily. Just go mid. <laughs> I'm BMing him a bit, but yeah, that's the GG. Pretty quick game, snowballing Rengar. Nothing they can do about it. Yeah, the champ still feels really good to me, even if I'm not playing it like quite a lot, I think it's still really strong, I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying icons. I will try to post, I mean tomorrow is uh, Pike and Nautilus, who knows. If one of them are this is decent in jungle, I'll definitely do some content on them. I mean, even if they are trash in jungle, I'll still try, maybe we get a, a nice video. But yeah, thanks for watching.